In this guide for Dragon's Dogma 2, I'm going to be showing you all the endgame gear locations in the Unmoor. Whether it's defeating an enemy or looting it from a chest, I'll be showing you all of that. For vocations, if you have a thief that has the plunder skill, they could steal the armor piece from the enemy. I figured I'd mention that just in case you wanted an easier method to get this armor. So let's get into it. So the first gear piece we're going to get is near Bakbatal. All you got to do is go west and you have to defeat a lesser dragon to get the Arch Conjurer's robe. Look up in the sky and once you find it, kill it and it will give you the Arch Conjurer's robe. The location for the Shadow Battle Garb is going to be southwest of Bakbatal. And it's going to be about right here. You're going to see a Gore Chimera. All you got to do is kill it and loot it from the corpse and you will get the armor piece. The Promethean Hood is going to be right next to the Enshadowed Battle Garb. You can do a little bit of cliff jumping, especially with a staff because you could hover with Levitate. So I suggest you do that. And eventually you'll get to this point and you will see that it is guarded by a big skeleton dude. I forget what their name is, but he's got the big sword. You could just go to the chest, open it, get the armor piece and then leave. All right, so next location is going to be southeast of Bakbatal. You're going to go over here. It's going to be right next to this port crystal location, the Gaman Volcanic Island. And you're going to see about right here. It's going to be guarded by a Dulahan, so you could either fight it or you could just go and loot the chest and leave. But from my experience, you probably want to kill this enemy because it loves to chase you down and it does like this blink where it'll just teleport to you. So you're better off just taking care of it before you loot the chest. But that is just my opinion. So you could do what you want. For the Soaring Surcoat, you're going to have to defeat a Lesser Dragon and then you could loot it off its corpse. So from this location, southeast of Bakbatal, see this location right here, Moonwax Bridge? There's going to be a Lesser Dragon somewhere here. So you just got to find it, kill it, and then you will get the armor piece. Show some haste. So the volcanic island camp, you're just going to go kind of north along the road until you get about right here. And this is where you will find the assassin's breaches. This one was kind of funny because I was looking for it, but the chest is hidden in like a little crater. So it's very easy to overlook. And I saw on my screen, it was like, oh, my pawn just looted the assassin's breaches. And then I went to the chest and then I found it. So it's very easy to miss this chest.
This one I didn't get the first time I went in the unmoored. It's in a very sneaky spot. So if we're right here at this location, you're gonna get to a bridge. There's gonna be an underground tunnel. You can find your way until you get to this open area, and there's gonna be a golem you fight. This one is weird because it says you loot it from a golem, but while I was attacking one of the magic metals, I didn't break it completely, and then all of a sudden I looted the armor, so mid-combat, all of a sudden I had the armor piece, so... For the Vanguard's Greaves, all you want to do is head to Bakratal, go north. Eventually, you'll make your way to the dried up ocean. Keep going north until you get about right here. And the chest is going to be guarded by a drake. So whether you want to kill the drake or just loot the chest, it's up to you. That's where you will find it. Seems perfectly understandable, albeit rather inconvenient. Will the day ever come when we might employ one again? So for the next location, we're going to go to the checkpoint rest town. And then you're going to make your way east. So go along the road. Until you get to this dried up river. You might have to go all the way over here just to make it in here because this game loves having high verticality. And I couldn't find a way to jump down. I had to go all the way over here just to start making my way up the dried up river. So once you get here, you will find the edified vestment and it can be looted from a lich. Once you have the edified vestment, you basically just want to go further up this dried up river until you get to the end and there will be a chest. So for the next location, we're going to go north, so along this road until you get to the Misty Marshes. Take this little road until it hooks around into the Ill Doer's resting place. You will fight a Lich, you gotta defeat it, and then you will get the Cardinal's Rope. The Knightly Brigadine is going to be southeast of this location. So we're at the Misty Marshes, you know, just go on the road. And once you get about right here, you have to defeat a lesser dragon to get the armor piece. Once you got the Knightly Brigadine, you're going to go southeast until you get about right here. This armor piece drops from a lesser dragon. I can proceed no further. It is heartening to think that the peril has passed by our efforts, but only for a time. Thank you kindly. Now from this location, which is near Har Village, 
We're going to go along the road, which is near the dried up water as well. The Dominator's armor is probably one of the easier ones to get because it's just north of Vernworth. All you gotta do is go right here to the dried up water, fight a Gore Chimera, and then you can loot it off the body. Alright, so we got the Dominator's armor right here, so now you're just gonna go along this road, northwest, until you get to about right here. See, Marshland Settlement, it's gonna be right in here. So you're gonna go down below, inside a tunnel, and then you're gonna loot a chest, but you're also gonna get greeted by a bunch of undead, so be prepared for a fight. For the Predator's Maw, all we're gonna do is go northwest from this location, you know, the Marshland Settlement. We're gonna go northwest until we get to about right here, the Mountain Ruins. Just go right here. There's gonna be a bridge and underneath it, you will find the chest with the Predator's Maw inside it. So for the Hood of Darkness, I saved this one for last because it's all the way on the east side of the map. So from Vernworth, just make your way east and eventually you will get to the Nameless Village. And then you're just going to go down. It's kind of like a dried up river and you will see a chest. There's going to be a lot of those ghosts. So just keep in mind, you know, they can take control of your pawn. It's very annoying. Like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.